Magna's new high RPM electric motor may change the entire EV industry. As EV manufacturers struggle to achieve better performance, longer ranges, and faster charging times, the advancements in electric motors and powertrains play a crucial role. Magna, a Canadian electric vehicle parts manufacturer, has revealed a new electric motor that promises to outperform the current standard with its lightweight design, higher efficiency, and increased power. So join us as we dive into what makes this new motor a potential game changer for electric vehicles. Magna may not be a household name, but this Canadian company is one of the largest and most significant vehicle parts manufacturers in the world. They have consistently ranked among the biggest companies in Canada and supply parts and manufacturing facilities to several automotive giants globally, including Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Ford. Magna has been a critical player in the automotive industry for decades, providing expertise in parts for traditional vehicles. With the rise of the EV revolution, Magna shifted its focus toward electric vehicle components. They anticipated that investing in EV technology would allow them to remain one of the most prominent vehicle parts manufacturers as the industry transitioned to electric power. Today, Magna has become one of the leading players when it comes to providing electric components for vehicles and several well-known car manufacturers are dependent on Magna for their electric parts. For instance, Magna provides the mirror controls, seating electrics, and other peripheral components for BMW's electric vehicles. Ford and Volkswagen also rely on Magna for their electric vehicle components, and in some cases, entire powertrains are built by Magna for Mercedes electric models. Perhaps most notably, Jaguar has entrusted Magna with full control over two of its vehicles, the F-Pace and the I-Pace. This highlights the company's immense capability and influence within the automotive industry. One of Magna's greatest contributions to the electric vehicle industry is its powertrain, the Magna E-Drive. Initially developed in the 2010S, the E-Drive system brought a significant leap forward for electric vehicles in terms of power, efficiency, and ease of installation. Magna's E-Drive system quickly became popular among automakers due to its versatility. It could be easily installed in various types of vehicles, whether they were fully electric or hybrid models. Jaguar's I-Pace, for example, uses two complete E-Drive units along with power electronics and integrated drive units, meaning that the entire platform is built from the ground up using only Magna components. The same is true for the new Fisker Ocean which also uses Magna's powertrain. The Volkswagen ID.4, on the other hand, was developed by Volkswagen, but partially uses Magna's E-Drive system, showing how easily it can be integrated into existing vehicle designs. Similarly, the BMW X3, which was originally developed as a conventional internal combustion vehicle, also uses the E-Drive system. This demonstrates the flexibility of the E-Drive powertrain, making it suitable for both custom-designed and adapted platforms. Other manufacturers such as Stellantis, Rivian, and Hyundai also rely on Magna's E-Drive to varying degrees. The widespread use of Magna's E-Drive system by different automakers shows the potency of this powertrain and the trust the automotive industry places in Magna's engineering. Earlier this year, Magna introduced a new electric motor that is set to further enhance its existing powertrain system. While the previous electric motor used in the E-Drive was considered good, it wasn't particularly impressive in comparison to newer, more powerful motors from competitors. It had a maximum RPM of 16,000, a 400-volt architecture, and an efficiency rating of 91%. Though the motor was reliable, it lacked the groundbreaking performance needed to compete with the best electric motors available. The new electric motor, however, is a completely different story. Magna's engineers have made significant improvements to enhance the motor's performance, efficiency, and overall competitiveness. Starting with the RPM, the new motor has a limit of 20,000 revolutions per minute, which is a considerable increase over the previous version. This change allows the motor to have a power density of 3.3 kilowatts per kilogram, making it approximately 70% more powerful than the previous generation. Despite the significant increase in power, the motor remains lightweight, weighing just 75 kilograms. This translates to an output of around 250 kilowatts or 335 horsepower, which is impressive for an electric motor of this size. Additionally, Magna has doubled the motor's voltage to 800 volts, which brings significant advantages in terms of charging speed, efficiency, and compactness.
One of the standout features of the new motor is its 800-volt architecture, which offers several key benefits over the 400-volt systems that are currently more common in electric vehicles. For one, an 800-volt system allows for much faster charging. The new motor can charge a vehicle using up to 350 kilowatts per hour, which is roughly twice as fast as the previous generation. This means that drivers will spend significantly less time waiting for their vehicles to recharge, which addresses one of the most common pain points associated with electric vehicles. The higher voltage also allows for reduced weight and a more compact motor design. The motor's higher efficiency rating of 93% means that only 7% of the electrical energy is lost during conversion. This is a big improvement compared to internal combustion engines, which have an efficiency of around 30% on average. In practical terms, this increased efficiency translates to more power and a longer driving range for vehicles equipped with the new motor. Another advantage of the 800-volt system is that the motor will heat up more slowly compared to a 400-volt motor. This improved thermal performance means that the motor will be more durable and have a longer lifespan, which is a critical factor for both consumers and automakers. While the technical specifications of the new motor are certainly impressive, what really matters to consumers and automakers are the real-world benefits that the motor brings. One of the primary advantages of the new motor is the increase in driving range. The improved efficiency alone will provide an estimated 3-5% to increase in range. This might not sound like much, but it's a meaningful improvement, especially considering that the motor is only one component of the overall powertrain. The motor's reduced weight also means that the vehicle will have a better power-to-weight ratio which will slightly improve both performance and efficiency. Additionally, the improved thermal performance means that the vehicle's cooling systems won't need to work as hard, which further increases efficiency and extends the driving range. All of these factors combined are expected to provide an overall range improvement of around 10% compared to the previous motor. While this may not seem like a game-changing increase, it's important to remember that these improvements are coming from a motor upgrade alone without any changes to the battery or other components of the powertrain. In the world of electric vehicles, where range anxiety is still a concern for many drivers, even small improvements can make a significant difference. Another major benefit of the new motor is the reduced charging time. With the 800-volt architecture, the motor can support much faster charging speeds, which means that drivers will spend less time plugged in and more time on the road. This is especially important for long-distance travel where the availability of fast charging can make the difference between a convenient trip and a frustrating experience. In addition to the performance and efficiency improvements, the new motor's compact size also provides practical benefits in terms of vehicle design. The smaller motor allows for more interior space and a larger cargo area, which is something that consumers will undoubtedly appreciate. While Magna's new motor offers several significant advantages, there are also some drawbacks that need to be considered. One of the main challenges with the new motor is the cost. The 800-volt architecture, while offering numerous benefits, is also more expensive to produce compared to a 400-volt system. The electronics used in the motor, such as inverters, converters, and onboard chargers, need to handle higher voltages, which increases the overall cost of the system. In addition to the higher cost of the motor itself, the battery packs used in 800-volt systems are also more expensive. This is because they require more robust insulation, wiring, and safety measures to handle the increased voltage. In some cases, manufacturers may also choose to use larger battery packs to take advantage of the increased power and extend the vehicle's range, which further drives up the cost. As a result, the new 800-volt motor will likely be reserved for higher-end electric vehicles, at least initially. This means that mainstream EV buyers may not see the benefits of the new motor for some time, as it will primarily be used in premium models. Another potential issue is the availability of charging infrastructure. While an 800-volt system can support much faster charging, this is only possible if the charging station itself is capable of delivering the necessary power. Currently, most public charging stations are designed for 400-volt systems, which means that drivers of vehicles with the new motor may not always be able to take full advantage of the faster charging speeds. This is likely to change over time as more charging stations are upgraded to support higher voltages, but it is a limitation that will need to be addressed. Finally, there is the issue of production. 
Magna is a large and well-established company. But transitioning from producing 400 volt systems to 800 volt systems will require significant changes to their manufacturing processes. This could result in production delays and increased costs, at least in the short term. However, these are challenges that are common with any new technology, and Magna's experience and resources should help them to overcome these obstacles. So what do you think the future holds for Magna? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more.